Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another AutoCAD web app video. This is the furniture assignment. Furniture assignment has a dresser, a nightstand, a lamp, and a TV. Okay, my students have already gone through about half of this drawing, so we're about at this point right here. Um, but we're going to refresh on how we did this part just in case they need that, and then we're going to continue with the TV and the lamp. Okay, so to start first thing they're going to need to do is figure out if you want to do it inside your title block or outside. In this video I'm going to do it outside and then at the end I'll bring it back into my title block. Okay. Um, if you're going to do it inside you got to find the center of the drawing space, you got to draw your vertical and horizontal lines and then you got to offset half of the distance of how wide it is and half the distance of how tall it is um, based off of those center lines. Okay. So alright here we go we're doing it outside. So the first thing I'm looking at is I want to see how many different pieces make up this drawing. And in this case, there are four different pieces, right? So the first one is going to be the dresser. And that dresser is 3 and 1 16th by 5 and 1 quarter. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to box this out, make it 5 and 1 quarter by 3 and 1 16th. And then 5 and a quarter coming back and then 3 and 1 16th down. All right, from that point, we now want to figure out what the bottom trim is and what the top countertop is, okay? So that's going to be a one-eighth height on the top, and it's going to be a one-quarter height on the bottom. So when I take my offset tool, I'm going to offset off the bottom line. I'm going to go up one-quarter. I'm going to go off the top line. I'm going to go down one-eighth, okay? Uh, next thing would be the part that indents okay you can see that the sides of this actually indent in by 1 16th which is this number right here so in order to do that again we're going to use our offset tool we're going to go off the left line we're going to go in 1 16th and then we're going to go in off the right side 1 16th and then there's just a little trimming you got to trim the outside of the or the middle of the outside line on both sides and then the top and bottom of the inside lines on both sides Alright, so you get something like that. Now, right over here in this top left, it says there's a 1 16th by 1 16th chamfer. A chamfer is an angled corner. And the 1 16th by 1 16th means if that corner is still there, how far from the corner does it measure in before it angles? And how far down does it measure before it angles? And both of those answers are 1 16th. Okay, so in here, when we go to use the chamfer tool, you'll notice that there is no chamfer tool in the set of modify tools, but you can still type that chamfer tool, which is C-H-A-M-F-E-R, okay? Hit enter, go to distance, you're going to do 1 16th for the first distance and 1 16th for the second distance. And then you're going to do 1, 2. And then I can just hit spacebar, that brings me right back into what I was already in, and I can do 1, 2, just like that, okay? Uh, next thing, mapping out the drawers themselves. Okay, these drawers are 13 sixteenths tall. They have a 1 8 inch space between them, and then another 13 sixteenths, and 1 8 and 13 sixteenths is what you should be left with at the end. So going off of this line, we'll go up 13 sixteenths for the height of the drawer, and then we're going to go up a 1 8 space off of the new line, 13 sixteenths off the new line, and then a 1 8 and then you can do a dimension at the end to make sure that you're ending up with 13 16 but I'm not going to do that because I know that it's correct. Uh, so, trimming. Left side trim, right side trim. Okay, now we have the horizontal lines of the dresser. Next part would be how wide are the dressers, okay? Well, you can do this one of two ways. Uh, you can look at this and say, okay, it's two and a half from this line to the right line. Or you can say it's based off of the center of the dresser. So if this width here is one eighth of an inch, what that means is if I had a line going down the middle, I would take half of this number and I would go half left, half right. Uh, just like if you were drawing your work inside of a title block. All right. So half of one eighth or really half of any fraction, you just take the, the bottom number and you double it. So one eighth becomes one sixteenth. So if I were to draw a line down the middle, from this midpoint here, make sure your midpoint is turned on. You'd have to go into OS Enter to double check that. You go middle to middle like this. You use your offset tool and you go left 1 16th 
and then you go right 1 16th off of the original line. And then we don't need the middle one. Let's see if we can get that line out of there. And then you can trim this way, this way, and all four of these lines this way. Okay. So now we got this all set up. The only thing that's missing is the knobs themselves. Uh, the knobs are 5 8 in from the indent okay so not from the very outside from the actual indent 5 eighths of an inch over and it's centered on the drawers so what I like to do is I like to take a line I like to draw it from this midpoint and put it down the middle of one of the drawers and then I like to take my offset tool go off the right line come in by 5 eighths and then the next number would actually be one and a quarter to get to the other one so I go off of this and I go one and one quarter and that gives me two intersections that I can do my circles on. So I've got a circle tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm actually going to do diameter down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that diameter is going to be a 1 8 inch. Okay. So 1 over 8. Now what I can do is I can take this one. I can type copy. I can grab it from the middle. And I can copy that one to there. And then I can just get rid of these lines. I don't need them anymore. Now that I've done one set, what I can do is select both. I can do copy and I can grab it from one of the base points that I can use uh, that I can have the same base point of all the other drawers so if I go the bottom left of this drawer I can go to the bottom left of this one bottom left of that one don't be confused here you don't want to go here you want to go here which is the bottom left of that drawer bottom left bottom left all right dresser is done next thing would be the side table okay the side table has a one inch space between the two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to modify, we're going to do offset, and we're going to offset off of this line one inch over. Oops. That's the start. Okay. Now that's not a full line. It's not drawn all the way up. So one of the things that I really stress to my students is that I don't want you to start another line and start drawing up because that's going to give you two lines and that's a no-no. Okay. Um, what you are going to do though is you're going to start going around counterclockwise and then you're going to erase the last line before you close. So if I see that this is 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 1 eighth, I'm going to go 2 and 5 eighths to the right, 2 and 1 eighth up. And just remember that you're going to box everything out first, 2 and 5 eighths. And now before I come back down, but yeah, you're going to box everything out first and then you're going to work from the outside in. Okay. So that's just the, the best way, I think, uh, to draw certain things. So now we can get rid of this line. That way it's not in the way. Otherwise, if you went to draw this last line, you wouldn't really know that that line was there unless you did this and you selected with a box. Okay. Uh, now, there are there is an easier way to do this side table since this is already done. If you notice in the plan, this line and that line and those two and those two, they all line up going across because they're the same height. It's just a different, there's, there's not as many drawers. There's just two of them. Okay. So what that means is that you can do all your offsets and stuff again, or you can take a line tool and you can actually steal this line across. And there's two different ways to do that. I can click here and draw across and then I can trim. Or if I want, as long as F10 is turned on. Okay. So if you hit F10, You'll see it says polar off, polar on. You want to make sure polar is on. Okay, so going forward, take the line tool. Uh, you can, as long as F10 is turned on, go off of this point and slide to the right without clicking, and then click here and go there. And then we can do the same thing here. Slide, click, and click. And then there's no trimming. Slide, click, and click. All right, so now we've got the lines that we need. Now I can also, whoops. I can also do uh, my indent, okay? So if I go back to my modify, my indent is still the same. It's gonna be 1 16th. And then I'm gonna go off of this right side and we're gonna go in 1 16th. And then we're gonna trim the middle of the outside line. I should have probably trimmed the sides first, but that's okay. We're gonna trim that, 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 that. All right. And then we're going to trim the top of the inside line and the bottom of the inside line. And you end up with something like this. Okay. And then we do another chamfer distance 1 16th, 1 16th. And you click the two corners. Then you hit spacebar again. That brings you back in. And you click the two corners on the side. 
okay and that parts done now I can once again grab two of these do copy hit the bottom left corner of the drawer and go to the bottom left and the bottom left okay so we're end up with something like this which is the two main pieces that we start out with uh, let's do the lamp next okay the lamp is gonna be based off of the center of the actual nightstand so if I were to draw lines up the middle and then offset left and right that's how I'm gonna get uh, centered on that little nightstand okay so you can see that the actual base of it is one half of an inch it's one eighth inch tall and then it angles up to another height of one eighth and then the actual stem of the lamp goes up one inch from there all right so let's start with the base first we got one half by one eighth so if I were to draw a line off of the midpoint of the top and I go up one eighth I can take that little line and I can off so that's a dummy line that's gonna get erased in a second but I can take that line since I know it's left to right one half I can do half of that which if you double the bottom number of that fraction becomes one fourth I can go offset here one fourth left and offset here one fourth right and then I can actually take the line tool and connect the tops and I can erase the dummy line so you end up with something like this uh, next thing if I do an offset off of this remember we said the height of the next part is also 1 8 and then I take a line another dummy line and I draw up middle to middle this is where it kinda gets like a little funny or a little complicated but it's really not it's just a bunch of different dummy lines that you need in order to draw certain things that you're gonna erase later on okay the dummy lines that you're gonna erase later on alright so again if the if the stem of the actual um, of the lamp is one eighth of an inch which we see up here half of that is one sixteenth so if I go in here and I do my offset tool again a lot of offsets we're gonna go one sixteenth left one sixteenth right and then I don't need this line or I could trim it that's up to you but I definitely don't need this one um, I'm not gonna need these two either you can get rid of those because I just want to connect a line from here to here alright and that gives me something like that that's the base now the next part is is a lot easier you're gonna go up one inch off of that line or that corner you're gonna go up one inch off of this corner and then what we're gonna do I don't know why pan doesn't work sometimes in the web app I wonder if anybody else notices that let's try to bring that back over all right there we go okay so the height of the lampshade is one inch the width is one inch but it tapers up to a half inch okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another dummy line that way I get the midpoint I need this midpoint in order to draw one up for the top of the lampshade I'm gonna do a couple offsets here for the base and for the top of it of the actual lampshade so we're gonna go off of this line if it's one inch wide we're gonna go half left half right uh, I can now delete this line and draw another one or I can extend it that's up to you and then I do not need these lines anymore because those were just to get those endpoints. I can uh, offset off of this line one inch for the height. I can offset this since the top of it is one half of an inch left to right. I'm going to go half of that, which is one quarter and one quarter. So this one seems complicated only because it's centered on this entire. Uh, nightstand if it wasn't centered it'd be a lot easier to draw it but since it is everything is based off the center so we don't need this anymore we're gonna take the line tool and we're gonna connect basically like we did down here we're gonna go from this point to that point and then we're gonna get rid of these two and we're gonna trim and that part is done okay all right TV TV is it has a 1 16th tall stand by one and a half so I would start with that first so it's gonna work the same way it's gonna be centered on the dresser so 1 16 what was that 1 16th <coughs> excuse me 1 16th by one and a half so take my line tool <clears throat> we're gonna go 1 16th up and then we're gonna take that line we're gonna modify we're gonna go to offset and we're gonna go if it's one and a half wide we have to figure out what half of that is 
So sometimes when these numbers are complicated because it's a mixed fraction, I tell my students to think about like quarters and, and dollars and things like that. So one and a half would be like a dollar fifty. What's half of that would be seventy five cents, which is point seven five or three over four, up to you. Three over four, and then take that and connect top to top and get rid of this line. Okay. All right. Next part. So you just kind of build things one at a time and don't look at it like it's the whole thing, you know, because this looks very complicated, but it's really not. It's just one little piece at a time, one measurement at a time. Okay. Uh, next part is one quarter of an inch. This is like the neck of the TV. One quarter of an inch by one eighth of an inch. Okay. So again, since it's centered on that stand or on this dresser, we're going to go one quarter up. We're going to offset. Did I mess that up? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It should have been one eighth up. So we draw a line off the midpoint, one eighth up, and then it's going to be a quarter wide, which means that when I do my offset, I do half of that number, which ends up being one eighth left, one eighth right, like so. All right. Now, next thing, connect with a line. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go off of this midpoint for the entire height of the TV, if it gives me that number, which I think it does not actually. So this is uh, this two and, thir two and three sixteenths is from the top of the dresser up to the top. So don't confuse that. It's not the height of the TV. The height of the TV is actually one and seven eighths plus a sixteenth plus a sixteenth, which would end up being two inches total. So you could do the math and do two, or you could go off the top of the dresser and go two and three sixteenths that is up to you okay I'm gonna go off the dresser so modify offset two and three sixteenths that's the top uh, if I had a line going down the middle that's what's gonna give me my left and right from that point so my TV is again three and one eighth wide from left to right and it has a one sixteenth inch bezel so three and one eighth inch wide, we got to figure out what half of that number is. Half of three is one and a half. Half of one eighth is one sixteenth. So one and a half plus a sixteenth is our next two numbers we're looking at. Uh, one and a half is the same thing as one and eight sixteenths. One and eight sixteenths plus one sixteenth is one and nine sixteenths, and that's your number. Okay. So that actually is probably easier on paper. Um, let me draw this out. Just this is actually mostly for my students here. So our number was three and one eighth. Okay. If we put a line down the middle of that, half of three is 1.5 and half of eighth, you just double the bottom number becomes 1 16th. So now we're looking at 1.5 and 1 16th. We have to come up with a common denominator. 1.5 is the same thing as one and eight. Sixteenths. It's the same number. It's just done with the sixteenth as the denominator. Okay. And half. Uh, sorry, we don't have to do half of one sixteenth. We already have that. So we're already like this. Now you just add those two together. One and eight sixteenths plus one sixteenth equals one and nine sixteenths, and that's my left and right numbers. Okay. All right. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Going off of the middle line, we're going to go left one and nine sixteenths. Going off the right, uh, off of the center, going to the right, one and nine sixteenths. All right, now we can trim here and here, and I don't need this anymore. And I can either delete this line and draw a line across, or I can extend this line. That's up to you. And then we're almost done. So the last thing you're going to do is offset. We're about 99% of the way through here. We're going to go down, by the way, this is like a four day project. Uh, our periods are like 30 minutes long. So, you know, maybe take my students like an hour and a half, two hours to do this. Okay. Um, even though, you know, the video is only 20 because I'm rushing, you know, I'm, I'm going through the entire thing in, in one, uh, one easy video, I guess, but they have to watch it, pause, rewind, you know, different things like that. So it'll take them about four, four, four class periods. All right. One sixteenth down, one sixteenth in. 1 16th up, 1 16th in, and then fill it radius 0. It's for rounding corners, but when you do a radius 0, it just makes a clean corner. 
spacebar brings me back in to the same numbers and I just click my two corners okay and then you can do uh, a little text you know and make it Samsung and make the height of the text 1 16th uh, but I'm not gonna do that you guys know how to do text okay um, and then the last thing here would be to just move this into your title block so if I have my line going from the top left to the bottom right also, don't forget to change your text at the bottom. This should say furniture, all caps. And then we can move that a little bit over. And then you could change today's date, okay, before you submit this as a PDF. Um, so two more things, all right? So we're going to go from this corner, but we don't know where this corner is up here. So you have to actually create that corner. Go off of the very top of the drawing, which is the top of the TV, and go off of the very left of the drawing and that gives you your intersection so that you can draw this diagonal line and then you can erase this and this because we only needed that corner now we can select everything we can do move we're gonna go off of the midpoint of this line which is over here don't be mistaken with the center of this circle and then you're gonna go on the midpoint of that other diagonal and erase the two diagonals okay um, and then the last thing is my students are going to dimension this okay uh, let's see what dimensions do we need let's go to annotate we're going to do the normally in uh, when we're actually in school because we're still remote right now we actually do really clean dimensioning we do fractional it comes out really nice kind of like what this looks like um, but since we're limited by the web app we're really just slapping a couple dimensions on there and making it look good okay so 5.25 Give me the height of this. Whoops, I messed up. One, two, 3.0625. Now you'll notice that when I when I did that, I didn't have a second corner to click on. So if I click here and here, it's gonna measure on a diagonal because of this dimensioning tool. What I did instead was I started at the bottom, I go up on the green line, and I'm gonna zoom in to show you this. I'm going to now go here and slide left, and that's going to give me my intersection of the top of the dresser and of the outside of the dresser right there. And then I can just slap that out there somewhere, okay? So I want to know, I basically want to know the height and the width of all four things, okay? And we'll leave it at that. There's no reason to show the rest of it. Give me the width, give me the height, um, give me the width, 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 height. Give me the height of the TV and the width of the TV, and I will be happy. Okay? All right, so I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this was another AutoCAD web app video called The Furniture, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you later. Gotta catch them all.